meteorologist Colt Hanley. Good evening. We'll just start off with a live look outside. This is Carmel Highlands, Tickle Pink Inn. Looks beautiful out there right now. You can actually see the marine layer off of the coast. So what that means, clear skies across the central coast right now. Main thing that you probably noticed today was the heat that we had out there, especially if you were in the mountains or the valleys. 104 for Ben Lomond, 102 for Hollister, 96 for King City. And then along the coast, even Santa Cruz got up to 90 today. Much cooler on the Monterey Peninsula though, where we did have a pretty pleasant little onshore breeze keeping things a little cooler there. Looking at the temperatures right now, still pretty hot inland. Low to mid 90s out there, although we'll be cooling down plenty overnight. And that's part of the reason that the heat advisory will be expiring tonight is because we'll get some relief during the overnight hours and then tomorrow's expected to be slightly cooler than where we were today. So moving in the right direction. I'd imagine people are probably getting a little tired of the heat at this point. It's been about three or four days now, especially for the mountains and valleys. Looks like the winds are calming down now, just around five to 10 miles per hour. And then looking at the sky conditions overnight, notice those clouds that we were just looking at on the live shot from Carmel. Looks like they stay off of the coast. So that's at 7 a.m. tomorrow. There's always a chance for some patchy fog along the coast, but overall, looks like it's going to be some mostly sunny conditions again tomorrow. Notice you're not seeing the wind arrows move very quickly. That's because we still have that ridge centered over California. And whenever that happens, you typically have calmer winds. This sort of shows the ridge, although you see that little spinning feature right there about to bring some moisture into Northern California. Looks like we'll miss out on the moisture aspect of that. You see all that brown color over the central coast that represents the dry air. Part of the reason that we did have an increase in fire activity this week, especially on the Boone fire, which quickly, quickly grew to 17,000 acres. Although today looked like there was a lot less smoke coming off of it. So the lack of wind out there today certainly helped and sounds like they're mopping it up at this point. So tomorrow we are still going to be hot out there inland but just slightly cooler, still 10 to 14 degrees above average. Notice areas like Santa Cruz and Watsonville closer towards normal, but still seasonably warm for this time of the year. Then looking at the heat alerts, right now we still have it, but look at the timing on it. It expires at 8 p.m. tonight. And then it doesn't look like there's going to be much to worry about as we move forward. There's just a steady cool down through Tuesday and Wednesday. So that will help us out with the heat impacts that we have had recently. It will also help us out with fire danger as well because the hotter it is, the drier the fuels get and then the easier it is for fires to spread. So through the weekend, it does still look like we have some high fire danger, especially down in Monterey County, but then things will start to improve towards the middle of next week. And looking at the heat impacts, kind of paints the picture that we're cooling down. A lot of yellow, which represents minor impacts. Still a few spots tomorrow where you see that red or purple, which represents the major to even extreme. And then as we get into Sunday, you see that yellow even expand a bit more. So a lot of the heat moving out. I think this is the best way to see it. The ridge moves off to the east and then that cool air starts to fill in down from more northern areas. And that will also bring the marine layer back as well. So expecting mostly clear skies tonight. But then towards the middle of next week, you'll start to see a bit more of those low clouds in the morning that will burn off in the afternoon. So forecast highs tomorrow. Looks like we're out of the triple digits, but just barely still 96 in places like the Santa Cruz Mountains, like Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, and then also Gilroy. Still warm in the southern Salinas Valley as well. But then Monterey Peninsula, it's been mid 60s to mid 70s most of the week, slightly cooler out there tomorrow. Then here's the eight day forecast. See a few more clouds showing up for the coast towards the middle of the week. That's the return of the marine layer. Inland areas, we cool down by about 20 degrees compared to where we were yesterday and then where we should be on Tuesday. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. All right.